Hi guys, welcome back to Codemaster Coach, your medical coding tutor. Today's Vlogmas topic is neoplasms. Now this is supposed to be an in-depth training, but I'm just going to try to introduce you to the neoplasm table and how to code neoplasms. So let's get started. We're going to need our code books for this one. All right, when you pull your ICD-10 CM code books out, if you would, go to the back to your ICD-10 CM table of neoplasms. Now that's found right behind, and notice how you tell which part of the book you're in is by the top. ICD-10 CM index to disease and injuries, right behind that is where you'll find your table, your ICD-10 CM table of neoplasms. And the key here is you got to know these different headers up here. So like for the first one, malignant primary. Understand that a malignant cancer is the bad cancer. Primary means it's the first site. The next rule says malignant cancer or malignant neoplasm, secondary. So that means that's the secondary sites because some cancers can be both. Some other cancers can only be a secondary malignancy, which means when they see that cancer, they know that cancer from somewhere else in the body spread to make that a secondary site. Cancer in situ is an encamp encapsulated malignant. It's a bad cancer, but it's it's encapsulated. It's like a pus bump. It's like a, a it's it's a it's a malignant cancer that's confined to a certain area. So that's in situ. Benign is not the bad cancer. It's a new growth. It hasn't given bad behavior yet. Then there's new growth that has uncertain behavior or unspecified because sometimes your physician doesn't tell you. You just know it's a new growth, but you're not sure whether it's malignant or benign or in situ. So, once you know what each one of these headers mean, what you do then is you find where on your ICD-10 CM table of neoplasms, if he says malignant neoplasm of, and because arm just happens to be right up in here, I'm going to say arm. If your physician says it's a malignant neoplasm of the arm, then you use your ICD-10 CM table of neoplasms, find your main term arm, and you come across and you have to identify was that arm the primary, secondary, in situ, benign, uncertain, or unspecified. And based on your diagnoses, then you'll know which one of these codes to use. Okay? And when you see a gap, these cancers don't tend to be in situ. When you find others, somewhere down here, here. These cancers are only malignant. Because remember, there are some cancers, and I found a book. These cancers are only secondary cancers. Bone, brain, diaphragm, heart, liver, lymph nodes, mediastinum, meninges, peritoneum, pleural, retroperitoneum, spinal cord, or sites that are classified to C76. These are your secondary sites. When you see these, you know that you have to then identify where the primary site is, okay? And your coding is based on what brought the patient in. Now, sometimes you don't, you're not going to know where the primary site is. And in that case, you use the unknown site or unspecified. So if the patient's coming in for one of those secondary sites, for example, bone, and because we know bone is a secondary site, then if we were to try to code the primary site, we'd have to use an unknown code. Okay, guys? But again, this is your table of neoplasms. And it's found right behind your alphabetic index to injuries and disease. All right, guys. Thanks. I will see you in the next one.